What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well and welcome back to another episode of Pass or Yes. This is my Will I Buy It style of video that I do regularly here on my channel where we go through all of the newest, the hottest, the most tempting new makeup releases sneak peeked on social media and I let you guys know is it going to be a pass or is it going to be a yes? If you want to chill out with me, hang out and talk about some new makeup releases, then keep watching. All right, party people, I scooched over so we can insert some images of the makeup. All of the Instagram accounts that I'm referencing today will be listed in that description box in case you want to give them a follow along with any affiliate links to any of the products that might already have launched. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe if you are also a makeup addict. I do a lot of new makeup reviews, especially in more of like the high and luxury end of the makeup spectrum. And without further ado, friends, let's talk about the first release. So just checking here on Instagram, I'm just going to cut to the chase. We're going to talk about the new Shantikai Summer 2023 collection and it's pricey. Are we surprised? So this is called the Cosmos collection. Here we have the Cosmos Real Glow Powder Highlighter for $84. All right. We also have the Cosmos Real Bronze Powder Bronzer, also $84. And then finally, we have two new shades of the Lip Cheeks. And those are those really pretty, shiny, hydrating lipstick, lip balm hybrid that Shantikai has. It's a really nice formula. Is this going to be a pass or is this going to be a yes, friends? I'm a little bit torn on this one. I think that I don't really want this collection to be honest with you. I think that if I didn't have a YouTube channel, this would be a very easy pass for me because the lip cheeks are so expensive and also because I do have the blurring powder from Shantikai. I don't have the original bronzers and some of the other powder products that they have in their line, but I do have that blurring powder that everybody loves and I don't think it's that great. I really don't think it is. I like the packaging that I got it in, but I don't think that the product is all that Great. I have some Shantikai products that I absolutely love and then I have some that are not bad, but they're they're just okay. And I think that the powder sort of falls into that category. So friends, I am a little bit on the fence with this one because I'm sort of tempted to see if I end up liking these and I would really like to review this collection, but I'm not actually super intrigued buy it as a consumer. A lot of you guys have been tagging me saying that you want me to review this. So help me out friends, comment down below and let me know if this is something you want me to review. I'm looking at these products and my first thought is I would like to try the bronzer. That is the product I'm the most interested in. However, a lot of us are chatting on Instagram and on YouTube and we're wondering if this is just the same powder bronzer that they already have repackaged in this like limited edition Cosmos packaging. I do not know. I think for sure the Real Glow Powder Highlighter is new. If you guys have any information, if you know anything about this, please let me know. It doesn't even say here what the launch date is. Apparently there was a pre-order today, but as soon as I got to that link, everything, there was no way for me to pre-order it. So this collection is still a little bit up in the air for me, but I wanted to start a discussion. Just like with a lot of things that Shantikai launches, it is a little boring. It's not super exciting to me, but if the products perform, then I really don't, I don't mind paying $84 for a bronzer. I already paid 105 for the Hermes one that I reviewed for you guys. The packaging also on this collection, I don't mind it as much as some of the ones they've recently done, like the spring one with the flowers and the, the seed packets. We, we already talked about that. We talked about that already. You guys know I wasn't super excited about that collection. With this, it kind of looks like maybe it's a galaxy or marble. I don't quite, I don't quite understand the packaging. Like the bronzer does look like Cosmos, but the highlighter does it. It kind of just looks like a slab of stone. So I'm still a little bit confused on the packaging. It's not my favorite. In general, my first reaction was easy pass, save your money, but I am, really tempted to review it. I'm really tempted to see if this is any good. So please help me out, friends. Let me know. Comment down below. Do you want a review of this collection? And if so, which product are you the most interested in knowing about? 
let me know. Now let's talk about a collection that is turning my head. This is yet another collection from Tom Ford. I don't know how they keep releasing more and more things, especially at the beginning of the year, but believe it or not, they're not done, okay? This is the Soleil 2023 Summer Collection. We have even more eyeshadow quads. Let me show you what is in this collection. So we have two eye color quads in the shades Tropical Dusk and Island Haze. And I don't know what the formula is on these friends. I don't think it's the wet dry, just like the three summer quads that I just reviewed for you. I think this is either gonna be the creme formula or some other kind of formula where I really don't have a lot of information about it right now. But follow me here on YouTube and on Instagram and I'll update you if I get any more info. Also, we have the Soleil de Faux Glow Highlighter and then we also have the Soleil de Faux Spark Lip Balm. Yes, more Tom Ford Summer My Wallet is crying, friends. This collection is definitely going to be a yes, or at least I'm planning on getting it based off of these photos. It does kind of suck that brands, they don't really show us real photos of the product. And I'm not even talking about the sneak peeks. I'm talking about on the brand website as I'm shopping. It's some sort of 3D rendered image of the product and 3D rendered swatches on arms that have not actually been swatched. You all know what I'm talking about. Can you just give me a real image of the product and real swatches? That is all I want. That is the end of my rant, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Just based off what I'm seeing here, these are intriguing me, these products. The main thing that I am interested in are the eye color quads, and they do look kind of neutral. Honestly, they look like maybe they're going to be a little bit boring, but I think because of that, a lot of people are going to be interested in them. I would really love to compare these with the ones that I just reviewed for you all, the other summer collection quads. There's just so much here for summer friends, but I would love to do those comparisons. One of them is more warm toned and then one of them is more pinky. So you kind of have some options here. I know a lot of you guys are really tired of these quite frankly, pretty repetitive tones, but they do look beautiful. And I think these are gonna be limited edition. They come in this beautiful bronze, I guess, limited edition packaging. They just, at least on first impression, look really beautiful. So the eye color quads are going to be a yes from me. Comment down below and let me know which of these you're most excited about. I do think that the names are accidentally swapped here. I think Island Haze is the warm tone one and then Tropical Dusk is the pink tone one. So just kind of keep that in mind. As for the highlighter, I don't know if this is gonna work for my skin tone. This might be too dark for me. So I'm gonna have to just keep an eye out to see if there's any swatches or their images that get released. And you know what, friends, that's okay because I already have so many highlighters and this is an opportunity for someone who is much more tanner and golden and melanated than me to enjoy this beautiful summer highlighter. And then I think the lippy, the Soleil de Faux Spark Lip Balm, I think that is going to be a pass. These tend to be very expensive. Tom Ford lipsticks are usually, you know, 50 to $55. And while these are pretty much always incredibly beautiful on the lips. I really don't need another lip balm, so that might be something that maybe I'll pick up a little bit later if it goes on sale, something like that, but I don't really need it right now. That's gonna be a pass. The big yes here are the two eye color quads. A lot of you guys have been asking for me to review those, so look out for a review. Let me know if you see these go on sale. I haven't seen them available in the US. I think there might be a couple European countries that have gotten them on the Tom Ford website. I will keep you guys updated. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. By the way, if you guys are wondering what is on my eyes today, it is the new Byredo Remembrance Palette. Sorry to blind you all, this is super reflective packaging. I did end up picking this up. I said I was gonna buy it, and then I said I wasn't, and then I was kind of tempted, and then I said I wasn't, and then you guys influenced me, and I ended up picking this up yesterday at the Byredo Boutique on Newberry Street in Boston. So I did pick this up. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, and I will have a review up for this palette very, very soon. So you guys asked for it and you shall receive. Another product that recently launched that I also picked up are the new Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Glow 
blushes. I picked these up in the Sephora sale and I'm actually waiting for these to arrive right now. My Sephora order is supposed to come today. It's a little bit later in the day. I don't know if it's coming guys, but I'm waiting for my Armani blushes to arrive. I believe there are eight shades in total or no, maybe, maybe seven shades in total, but only some of them are at Sephora. I know shade 10 is particularly popular. And at Sephora US, we don't have it. I think it's in Sephora Canada, but we don't have it here in the US. I don't have any information, friends, unfortunately, if all of the shades are gonna be coming to Sephora, but I did pick up four shades. I picked up four shades. I'm gonna be doing a review of this. This is a yes. I think originally I said that this was a pass because I just wasn't really feeling them. But as I've seen the color selection, I've become a little bit more intrigued and I did have some room in my budget this month and you guys really want to review. So I also picked these up. I will link them down below in case you guys want to pick them up in the sale. I'm seeing currently that all the shades are still in stock. Another Tom Ford product that I actually didn't get the opportunity to talk about previously are these new liquid lipsticks. These are called the Liquid Lip Lux Matte. They're $59, so very very expensive that's what we expect from tom ford so you guys know the deal here when i first saw these they really didn't turn my head i was like mm, yeah whatever i'm gonna be picking up the new summer quads i don't really care about liquid lipstick these are just okay then chic profile official posted these swatches and i saw these swatches and i thought to myself those are some Sophia colors right there, okay? There's some beautiful nudes. There's some bright reds. There's like some pinky ones, some orange ones. I love bright colors, especially when it comes to liquid lipstick. I love a nice bright summer color. So these actually are a yes. I did pick some up in the Sephora sale. I'm not gonna tell you what shades I got. You're gonna have to wait until I do my unboxing, but I did pick these up. I'm gonna test them out this weekend and then hopefully next week I'll have a review for you guys. So comment down below and let me know if you pick these up. I decided to save 20% in the Sephora sale. So that helped a little bit but let me know if you pick them up and let me know what you think of them. Next, we have a re-release from one of my favorite eyeshadow brands, Viseart. They are re-releasing the Koi palette, and I'm so excited for this because I actually already have this palette. If you guys aren't familiar, Viseart, they are, at least they started off more so as like a makeup artist brand, and what they've been doing is they've been taking a lot of their original Slim Pro palettes, which are more marketed towards makeup artists. It's very simple packaging. They're taking those palettes and they're shrinking them down into these really cute little petite shimmers and petite matte palettes. And so they took the now discontinued Koi palette, which was one of the best ones. So um, rude Viseart. I was very upset when you guys discontinued that because I love to recommend that palette. But they redeemed themselves because they're bringing it back in this cute little petite size with equally as cute packaging so wanted to let you guys know this is a re-release but i highly recommend this palette it's one of my favorites from that slim pro series it's all shimmers so kind of keep that in mind you know maybe you can pull from other palettes if you want to incorporate some mattes but these shimmers they're so pretty they have some really interesting tones in here and also some of the shimmers have kind of like an interesting multi-dimension i love the peach and pink shades that are in this palette. I also really like those green tones. They're really good for sort of one and done looks that have just like a little little bit of something extra. And you guys know Viseart has amazing eyeshadow quality. So I was really excited to see this. I highly recommend this palette. It's a pass for me because I already have the full size one. I don't need to have this as well, but it is a really good palette and I'm very excited about it. We have some newness from Chanel. This is a new collection, a summer 2023 collection of nail polishes with new limited edition shades. And there's also one set with nail stickers and a white red nail polish and this is going to be launching on june 2nd so wow look at all these nail polishes i am not sure friends if these are all limited edition or if it's more so just kind of a big collection and some of the shades are limited edition i'm not sure if some are re-promotes comment down below and let me know these shades look stunning i'm always very drawn to the chanel and dior 
nail varnishes. I love the colors, but I know that I'm just never going to use them because I do get my nails done at a salon. By the way, I just got mine redone. Let me show them to you guys. Woo! My nail game is back on now that I'm back in Boston. I can go back to my usual salon and my usual nail tech. So I love nail polish. I love getting my nails done. I love nail art, but this is probably going to be a pass because I do go to a salon. So I don't know, guys. Maybe if I see these in store, I can pick some up to use maybe on my toes, maybe a cute little spring and summer color. I would definitely consider that. But if you guys are nail polish people and you paint your nails or you use regular nail polish as opposed to like gel or dip, definitely check out this release. Here's an interesting release from Dior. This is called Dior The Balm for hands, lips, and body. It just says coming soon. I really, I'm not quite sure what this is. This kind of reminds me of that hand cream that Chanel launched. I think you guys know which one I'm talking about. I, I've never tried it. I have heard that it's good, but it's pretty pricey. This kind of looks like it's the Christian Dior version of that. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be like in a solid form or if this is going to be something that you squeeze out. Now that I'm looking at some of these photos, it does look like you can flip the top up. It doesn't say cream. It says that it's going to be a balm for hands, lips, and body. Great time to launch it, you know, kind of going into summer, at least in my hemisphere. It's kind of like with Chanel launching the nail polishes. A lot of people, you know, they're getting their nails done more. They're taking care of the skin on their body in addition to the skin on their face. So this is an interesting release. We'll have to stay tuned to find out more. I think for me, it's probably going to be a pass because I, well, I love hand cream. My hands are pretty much always dry as are my lips, but I already have so many other creams and balms and those types of things. And I just know this is gonna be so expensive. And I also know it's probably going to be incredibly fragrance, which I'm not anti-fragrance, but the Dior skincare is especially fragrance and it's a little too strong for my liking. So I think that this is going to be a pass, but I would love to know what, what do you guys think this is going to be like? And are you going to get it? Next, we have a new release from Merit and it is a lip product. I really do enjoy the Merit lipsticks and lip oils. And these are the Shade Slick Gelée Sheer Tinted Lip Oil. This is a high shine sheer wash of color infused with plant derived squalene and quinoa seed oil for healthy lips all day long, $24 each, and there are four shades. This is definitely a trend, this whole lip oil thing. I'm a little bit confused how these differ from their other lip oils. I think that maybe it's just kind of like a bit of a sheer formula maybe, because these are called gelée, and they definitely have that kind of summery, jelly, popsicle, you know, juicy gelé type of look to the lips. The colors look very wearable. However, this is going to be a pass for me. And the main reason is because I just know that these really aren't going to show up on my lips all that much. My lips are pretty like rosy tinted. And so I could probably put on all of these lip gelés and they probably would all look more or less the same. And they probably would look exactly the same as the Dior lip oil that I already have. I like lip oils, but I think for me, in order for me to like get a new one, they have to be a little bit more pigmented and they have to be, you know, maybe the deepest color in the range or the brightest color in the range otherwise it just kind of looks a little bit like a sheer lip gloss on my lips. I learned my lesson with the Rare Beauty ones. The color that I got didn't show up on my lips all that much, even though it was described as a brown. And similarly with the original Merit lip oils, I have the deepest shade. It's kind of like a rich brown. And I really like that because it does give a little bit of you know color and tint and richness to my lip so i feel like these wouldn't really add anything to my collection and so that's the biggest reason why i'm passing but i have no doubt that they're good because i really like all the other lip products from merit i have a new release here from tarte that i was tagged in and guess what it is friends it's eyeshadow sticks i know this is the season of the eyeshadow sticks and I may or may have not picked up another eyeshadow stick in the Sephora sale. So stay tuned to see which one I got. But these from Tarte are called the Tarte Tartlet 
double-ended shadow liner duos. These are $39 each, which seems a little bit expensive from Tarte. Let me know what you guys think. It looks like these are coming in six different shades. And the thing that I'm chuckling about here, friends, is that they all kind of look pretty similar. I'll show you some images of what I'm talking about. Like there's a soft pinks category, which these look very, very similar. There's romantic mauves, which these look similar, but they also look similar to soft pinks. And then we have warm bronzes, which are a little bit different, but once again, they all look pretty similar. This is a pass. I have too many eyeshadow sticks. I would rather just buy more Victoria Beckham ones in the future or the Bobbi Brown ones or some of the other ones that you guys have recommended to me. I really don't need to be buying these Tarte ones and certainly not for $39. I feel like Tarte, they're trying to dupe a lot of these higher end brands, but then the price is not really matching what I expect to be a dupe. I feel like I would have to go to the drugstore if I really wanted something that's like, ooh, this is a, a dupe, but it's more affordable. In many cases, you can just spend a couple more dollars and get the luxury product. And who knows, sometimes the luxury formula, it's not better. So I don't wanna insinuate that at all. But the positioning of some of their dupe or copycat products is a little bit puzzling to me. If I'm a consumer and I know that I'm buying a copycat product, I want to get a little bit more of a deal. And so that's kind of how I feel about these eyeshadow sticks from Tarte. And then in addition, I just don't find the colors to be that enticing. And a lot of them kind of look the same either to each other or to other eyeshadow sticks that I already own. So unfortunately, this is the past. Speaking of Bobbi Brown, the last thing that I have here is a Bobbi Brown release. And these are the new Sculpted Glow face palettes. It says that these are available now in Asia and Australia. Yay! I know a lot of you guys, you're always bummed, especially those in Australia, you're always bummed. You get things very late and the shipping is always high. So I'm happy for you. You get something first before we do here in the U.S. And these are described as an artist curated trio of highlighting, blush, and bronzing shades designed to create a sculpted look. And they have these in a light shade, a medium shade, and a deep shade. I think that these look super duper nice. I'll say right off the bat, these are a pass. I really don't need these, but I think that this is a very nice release from Bobbi Brown and for a couple of reasons. I think the packaging looks really nice. I think the shades are beautiful and wearable. I like that they have some pretty embossings. You get a little something extra. It looks luxurious. All of the colors are very wearable. They're very sort of catering to that Bobbi Brown customer. I think these palettes are gonna be great for your average makeup wearer, your average consumer that doesn't have a big collection, that wants something cute and wearable for every day. You got a nice little palette, a nice little three in one you can wear it on your eyes I just think that they're really cute and the other thing that I really like about it is that they did three palettes that they did a light a medium and a deep you know TBD on how many skin tones this is going to satisfy but I like the fact that they did three palettes so I don't know I feel like there is some good effort here it's not super exciting to me but I think it's a really cute release. So good job, Bobby Brown. I would love to know if any of you guys pick these up. Let me know if they are enticing you. Woo! Those are all the new makeup releases that I have for this episode. Now it is your turn, friends. Sound off in those comments down below and let me know because I need to know what do you think of these new makeup releases, especially the Shantikai and the Tom Ford. I want to know what you guys think. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.